Oh, what the fuck? Oh man, that does not look like a good fight for us. I really don't want to have to go Q. Like, I, I really don't want to have to go Q. I guess too good. Well, that's great. What a great way to start my fucking day. We all ran over and just fought level one and all died. Solid. I have a shit spell level one. I'm missing all my sums. Don't you dare ping the blue buff. If you fucking ping the blue buff for a leash, I, I will leave this game. I swear to God. Alright, well my AD carry has 2% HP. He'll miss all of these minions too. Well, at least the minions went to the real carry, me. I knew I shouldn't have gone Q. I should have just trained E and just called it a day. Yay, having a Phileos in my lane. Dude, I hope everyone who picks a shit, like, picks shit laners just starts, like, tanking and raiding so I never see them again. Mental boom before the, before the season starts? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty sure he still has heal, so. Phileos is fine into non Ezreal lanes. I don't. Okay, here's my thoughts. Here are my thoughts. Aphelios is dog shit. If you pick Aphelios into a not melee, ra melee ranged lane, if you pick Aphelios into multi ranged champions, you're fucking dumb. Like, you're, you're a fucking idiot. For, for sure you're an idiot. And Ezreal and Brand were both picked. Ezreal and Brand were already picked. So you pick Aphelios, you didn't want to win the game. Like, you actually loaded in just being like, I am a sabotager. Like, for sure a sabotager. Yeah, it's actually crazy how many ADCs will tell you the ADC pick doesn't even matter. And it's like... It's just as important as your support pick. It's just, they're stupid. I need to reset. I don't wanna be in this lane. That's why I need to duo. Like, I need to duo because I just don't, I just don't wanna play on the first day and have people pick like terrible picks the whole day. I can't deal with it. I can't. I can't play like with a Vayne versus a Caitlyn Lux. You know what I mean? I can't do it, man. It's too much. And less and less people are picking tanks now. Like, it's actually pretty rare for me to see someone default auto default uh, blind a tank. Yeah, no TPs, no TPs. Holy shit. I'm literally landing with a corpse. <sighs> Stop missing last hits. There's no one doing anything to you. You fuck. I literally zoned him away for three waves and he got three of the CS. He got three of the 18 CS that he could have gotten. Three of it. This is a nightmare. I hate it here.
Headshot! God bless. CLG is making playoffs this year. I feel like that's only just because playoffs is top eight. He also missed the cannon. I, I literally just watched him miss the cannon. There's no one in the lane. He just missed the cannon. He might be weak in laning phase, but he always takes over late game. Yeah, but who cares? Who cares? Like what a what a useless attribute to have. You know who also can take over uh, a game in the late game? Caitlyn, when she has 15 fucking plates and 7 kills. You, you feel me? It's like, yeah, but if I had like just a player or a champion that does better than lane, like, your late game is so much easier. Yo, what's up, Trickster? How you been, man? You know, I really want to buy boots... But I really just don't think it's correct. I think I need the Sapphire Crystal so badly. Yo, what's up, Zaya? Yeah, I got your point. Yeah. It's just like, TP got taken out of the game for the first 14 minutes. So, like, you should pick any... You should pick things that crush lane. You should never pick something that's like a late game scaler. Because you don't have any way to, to bail out your lane anymore if you're playing bad. Besides your jungler. Your jungler can, like, kind of come down and bail you out. But... Most, like, most air quote, like, scaling lanes usually have dog shit, like, gank set up. You know what I mean? Like, if you play, like, if you're playing, like, Lulu Vane, how are you supposed to set up a gank for your jungler? Like, the answer is you just can't, right? Oh, what the fuck? What is that spear at? Oh my god! Get away from me, you freak! He missed the ward. He was running a sweeper the whole time and he missed the ward. Do shit. Be useful. Auto attack. Snare. Holy fucking hell, man. Why did that guy walk back into us? What is wrong with these people? What is wrong? Alright, we got him. Yoink. <laughs> Alright, I'll just get the blade, man. Why is there a rando box on my screen? What are you talking about? Dude, we're still down 20 CS. What the fuck? Oh boy. Oh baby. I'm so rich now though. <clears throat> is a tier item any good for any of the supports or is it not worth it? It's not worth it. What? 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 <laughs> he killed both of them? Why? Why did he just back right there? Oh my god. Why did he just back like a normal person? Yo, what's up, Mycotic? Any 
normal person would have backed right there. It's just so whack. Ah, uh, too slow. Fuck, I was trying to help, but all I did was steal them. Whatever. Is Inspiration better than Cheap Shot Ultimate Hunter? I can say with great confidence that I hate the domination tree. My plate! No, I didn't get the plate! I don't want to play anymore. Wait. What the fuck? Domination is bis. Yeah, he thinks domination is bis. I think domination is shit. So, like, pick your poison, you know what I mean? Have you seen all the Luxes in uh, KR are going Relic? That sounds disgusting. I want to throw up. I think it's just Ludens. Ah, oh, shit. That guy's dead. Don't worry, my Aphelios was really great in my lane, so he'll be really useful here. Oh, what the fuck? I probably don't die here. I got blinked in. <laughs> I think I just back and get my Ludens. Malt doesn't come up fast enough for me to like sit there and wait for it. Yeah, I don't know what, what would possess anyone to take Relic. Like Relic is actually such a shit item. This patch was pretty underwhelming. Yeah, it was basically a non-patch. It was a non-patch patch, for sure. Basically, the only noteworthy thing is, is the TP change. I don't know how the vein is dying to the Tom Kench. Like, I, I don't get it. Like, I, I don't get it. Like, it actually makes no fucking sense. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> she ignited me. She thought he'd killed that guy. But little does he know that he took Dark Harvest, which does zero fucking damage. So, it doesn't matter. Whatever, wave's mine. That's all that matters. What the fuck? The Ezreal is running across the map to go to that fight. I don't get it. Oh, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Enemy objective bounty. Yo, I thought that was a virus. Have you never seen that? No. Alright, well the wave's mine. I don't even care if it's 50%. It's a virus. I'm being hacked. Virus. All 
All right, normally I like Shadow Flame, but I my buy pat my buy my buy threshold is twelve fifty, so I'll just get this. Actually, it wasn't working on the map when it was left. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's no way I missed that for like the entirety of the preseason. Like, you got me fucked up. Large rod is twelve fifty. Why would I go large rod? Why would I build a death cap? What kind of grief fucking builds do you do? Do you see this lobby? Not a single person is going to build magic pen. Or not a single person is going to build magic resist. You just build pen. For shadow flame. No, nah, shadow flame is shadow flame is only worth never. I was really hoping to keep walking through the jungle. I fucking suck. Did you grief my ears? No, you griefed your own ears. Shadow Flame sucks. Compared to compared to compared to this blighting jewel, it's so bad. What the hell? It's not even close. I might go Shadow Flame third, but definitely not second. No way. Blind, Blind Jewel is too OP. Dude, I'm actually playing in a silver game. For for real. Like, why is no one catching these waves? I could have sworn you said you wanted to go Shadow Flame. Yeah. I used to think Shadow Flame was really good, but it, it's not actually that good. It's too expensive. Okay, okay, so Shadow Flame is not a bad item, but it's 3k gold, right? And you don't get any of the spell pen when you're building towards it. So you, so you see these items, right? None of these are spell pen items. But you see this? I can build Void Staff. It's cheaper, uh, and the components give me spell pen when I build it. So it gives you better spike power. So Shadow Flame is a good third item if you want to go spell pen, but it's actually a bad second item. Because of the path. Like, if the path was better, Shadow Flame is good. But there's no, like, uh, like mini, mini magic resist item, you know? Or mini magic shred. So, it's bad. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for that guy. What the fuck? He changed targets. Bro? Why do you change targets like that? Yeah, ho hopefully that makes sense. Oh, what the fuck? I think I gave up. Just buy it all at once. True, just buy it all at once. I'm actually playing with, like, people who belong in gold. Like, these are people I would have encountered, like, doing unranked to challengers. I'm not even joking when I say that now. Like, I have 50 CS just because my teammates are just terrible at walking to minions. Just buy the jewel, then go Shadow Flame? No way. It's just so much better to complete this. This is, like, this is such an insanely, like, easy thing to jump on, like, complete... Okay, I'm gonna tell you a secret, all right? You ready for this? You ready for my secret? Void Staff is more efficient per piece of gold against even a target that has zero magic resist than Death Cap is. You're welcome. Holy shit, that guy died way too fast. Okay, that guy wait, died way too fast too. Sounds like a lie. Yeah, you think so, right? But it's not. 
Also, uh, the way spell pen has been cal the way spell pen calculates is it's um, percentage then flat, which is actually pretty important, by the way. Which is why like uh, void stuff is good, even if you're going flat pen. Yeah, the only time uh, the only time death cap is actually better than a void staff is when your when your utility outweighs your. Uh, damage. Wow, that was really skillful. Nice. Good one, dude. You're so sick of the game. Said no one ever. Why must I get a Camille jungle into Kane jungle? Because you're playing at high elo where all the players are really good. But unfortunately, unfortunately what happens is, is when the players are really good, they also, it's a trade. They're really good at League of Legends, but they're really bad at being a human being. So then you get Camille jungle. Enjoy. That's going into my Vex mechanical outplays folder. Like her ass. What the fuck am I reading? What is the AP breakpoint? AP breakpoint for what? Ha <laughs> ha justice. Oh, do you mean like the AP breakpoint where like all of a sudden he'll ult, right? Okay, never mind. Um, the AP breakpoint where like all of a sudden he, uh, the death cap is better than the void staff. The answer is like I don't think there is one because of the way like pen is calculated in the game. All right, well now we figured out how this guy dies over and over again. I think, uh, I don't know the numbers, but I think if you just follow the concept, right, which is just... If you follow the concept that, like, unless you, uh, unless you go our utility, you just don't go. So if you're not, like, Oriana... Um, I mean Lux is probably a good example if you're if you care about the shielding, but I don't really care that much about the shielding. Uh, Oriana used to be like one of the primary ones. Honestly, Victor is probably not a bad example either, just because of his shield. But he has so many other items you build, so it's like not that good. Uh, you can get so much pen that you actually get no pen from pen on your last item. So like now, I, now I build this item. <sighs> the AP breakpoint for death cap is like 800 plus. All right, well, there's literally no way you can reach that then. It's like Vigar only. It's like an, uh, like 800 is like base gun reachable. This guy has 300. That guy has like 600. <laughs> ah, fuck, I suck. Wow, that, that dash has no cooldown, I guess. What elo is this? This is like, uh, not, it's probably just Diamond 1 at this point in time. Yo, what's up, Kamika? How are you doing? Shadow Flame still better than Decap? Yeah, for my build, for sure. I've already built multi pen items, so like you just want to keep getting pen items. I'm pretty sure I do close to true damage to everyone that isn't a uh, melee unit. So just this guy. Let's see, what's my pen at? Uh, 34 flat, 45%.
Actually, you know what's funny? Maybe Shadow Flame is actually just a terrible item in general. Get Zola killed by Facebook Mike. Dude, that was no match for Mike. He's fucking, he's jamming too hard. You know what's funny? Maybe Shadow Flame is actually like not even correct to build this game. It's like useful against two people. I'm already spell pen capped against almost everyone in the lobby. Alright, well, I mean, if we care about winning, we just get the Baron. It's pretty brave of him to walk up. Could just go Horizon Focus. That item is terrible. That item is actually just so bad. It, you know, it's kind of crazy how many really bad items there are in this game. Oh, my shield didn't go through. Oh, yeah, it did. Is that guy not using his eyeballs? I should have just ulted. What criteria do you use for the tier list? Uh, you have some very questionable champions up there? No, I don't. What questionable champions are up there? Yeah, I hate this item. This item is so bad. These items are so bad. Fucking hell. I don't even want to build these. I almost am considering selling them. I'm actually just considering maybe just building Death Cup and not even going Shadow. Although not one's not named Brand. I actually put Brand in A. Zyra? Why would Zyra not be good right now? They literally just took out, like, did you not read the patch notes? They literally just took out all the, all, all TP mechanics in the game. So, like, lane busters are, like, broken. L lane busters are gods. You have no one who can interfere with you at all anymore in lane. Like every every lane buster is just so good now. Oh, that's not good. I'm actually scared he's going to die. Oh yeah, he definitely died. That was brave. I actually probably do more damage than my victor uh, per spell. He already tumbled, so it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, we just go to soul now. I don't know if it doesn't matter if we lose that. Before Shadow Flame. Yeah, it's kind of why I don't even want to get it. Like... Who am I even fucking... I don't need it. Okay, I actually probably just go death cap here. But yeah, basically the criteria was, is I looked at the patch notes, theorized how I feel like the game should be played for the most part, 
and then I compartmentalize it for people who are coming back to the game, and then leverage the difficulty versus output value of each of the characters. That's why I like a champion like, uh... That's why I like a champion like, um... Leona and Lulu have always been incredibly high on my tier list when they're good, because... The skill required to like pick up those champions is so minuscule that their output value versus their input value is insane. Uh, okay, for Zen, let's say bruisers that use a lot of shields and mortal shield bows, isn't it worth then? Okay, so I want to tell you a secret. You see this passive? You see this passive that you gain max value if the target is affected by shield? Pretend like you never read that, because this is the most worthless and meaningless passive in the entire fucking game. Like, legitimate, like, legitimately, don't ever read that passive. That passive is actually a scam. It's, it's a fake, it's literally a fake scam. Like, it, it's actually fake. That's not, like, a real... That's not a real thing. 